Hello, my name is Laura and now I present an analysis of the architectural points applied to the buildings in Venezuela, especially the concepts that we deal with in this course. Color, light, texture, acoustic, rhythm, vertical circulation, horizontal circulation, space and scale. My purpose is to show how through architecture these concepts became a whole and managed to make Venezuela unique in its architecture and how that affects our lives. For me, there is no architecture more representative and more special with regard to Venezuela than the acclaimed work of Carlos Raúl Villanueva, the great setter, a city within a city, the Central University of Venezuela, UCV. This place has all the concepts studied in this course integrated in a unique and unprecedented way. Color Let's begin our journey through the heart of color at the Ciudad Universitaria, from the Plaza del Rectorado. At the west of the complex, we see the so-called Communication Building, a hard square for the administrative offices of the university. In its facade, we can see a mural of Valdo Vivas. At the east, the Museum Building shows another mural of Valdo Vivas and one of Armando Barrios. It is a structure that represents a colorful mural placed at the west facade. This variety of colors are used to say hello to everyone who walks around the square of the rectory and university. To maintain the harmony, the architect decided to use one unique color in the leftover of the building. Light as we know, if the light is used properly in conjunction with the architecture, it can transform a space throughout the day, making it dynamic, fun and different depending on the time. This happens in the Central University of Venezuela. Due to the architectural use of the open wall, the light will move and change the appearance of the place, creating a play of shadow and light that makes this university so distinctive and special. Texture. Materials and textures are a large part of the design of the building to contain the concept of the senses, exploring this aspect of touch and creating a tactile and interactive environment. The Central University, despite the fact that the star material is concrete, it was possible to work in many different ways to achieve different types of, of textures, such as open wall walls, building facades, corridor ceilings, thus achieving creative forms and, at the same time, different experiences throughout the university campus. Acoustics In this university, there is a special place, not only for an artistic and architectural beauty, but for how these factors also make it efficient in the task it performs, the Aula Magna. This university campus was classified in the 80s as one of the five rooms with the best acoustics in the world, appropriately that it still conserves thanks to a system that combines technology and art. The flying saucers or floating clouds by the North American engineer and artist Alexander Calder. Inside the auditorium, most of the elements and materials are designed in favor of acoustic and durability. One of the most interesting examples of the above is the armchairs. Another notable element is that all the doors in the room are acoustic and double, internal and external. Even the original carpet that covered the hallway of the room was specially designed in favor of acoustic and durability. Rhythm As we know, rhythm is a concept of systematic repetition. At Central University, we have the concrete lattice work in many parts of the campus, a great example of repeating shapes. The sunscreen of the Faculty of Architecture and Urbanism represents the repetition of shapes and dimensions, and also of differences due to the play of full and empty spaces. Circulation From an architectural perspective, Venezuela is unique and the circulation in its buildings is unique as well, especially at the Central University, where mobility becomes an event in every sense of the world. We have the horizontal circulation, with the majestic corridors that match the campus, all different in ways to enhance each experience. 
has for vertical circulation, the most representative and special are the ramps of several of the buildings. They make the journey continuous and fluid, full of light, making the climb a special and architectural experience. Space and scale. In my opinion, space is one of the most important elements of architecture. Architecture is made up of spaces, and space can be manifested with the help of other concepts such as color, light, light is fundamental. All complement each other to form a whole. Based on this, the entire university is a composition of spaces, of which the most special for me is the Aula Magna. It combines the light, color, texture, acoustic, rhythm, even scale. In short, all the concepts previously seen which, together, form one of the most significant architectural spaces for anyone who has visited the university. Being in this auditorium, either visiting or at a graduation, becomes an unforgettable experience, which is what one as an architect always hopes to achieve. Do sense our trip with what will be an eternal reference for any architect the Central University of Venezuela, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the best work of the architect Carlos Raúl Villanueva, where, as we saw, you can see a good relationship between buildings, excellent work in its forms and his claim work in the use of light to emphasize spaces, create roads and establish places of stay. This is a place that, without a doubt, lifts Venezuelan architecture on top making it unique and special and that has characteristics that define it more than others such as the use of light, color and texture. In conclusion, you can see that the elements analyzed are essential to define the architecture of any place and it must also be said that the advancement of this element is what makes architecture change over time and differently in each country.